Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 2.30 to 3 o'clock session of the 2023 Open Simulator Community Conference. In this session, we are pleased to introduce the presentation, A Home for Acadia Asylum. Our speakers are Judith Adele, Ada Radius, and Mike Higgins, Kayaker Magic. Judith is a retired CPA, opera singer, fiber artist, and she is the founder of New Media Arts, Inc., a 501c3 nonprofit charity whose mission is virtual community libraries, the arts, and education. Kayaker has been scripting in virtual worlds since 2008. By taking apart items made by Arcadia Asylum, Kayaker learned a great deal about building vehicles in OpenSim, animating, and 3D modeling, UV mapping, texture mapping, and efficient mesh. Please check out the website found at conference.opensimulator.org for speaker bios, details of this session, and full schedule of events. The session is being live streamed and recorded, so if you have questions or comments during the session, send your tweets to at OpenSimCC with the hashtag pound OSCC23. Welcome, everyone. Let's begin the session. Welcome, everyone. I'm so happy to be here. Is there anyone in the audience who's never heard of Arcadia Asylum? She had many alts in uh, in Second Life. Uh, for example, Laura Lemon, Ali uh, Arai, uh, Ali Ansar, Ali Resident, Adwar Allen, and a bunch of robot names. And uh, if you haven't heard of her, you are in for a treat because she was a prolific creator in the uh, between I think. To th what 2006 and, and 2004 in Second Life. 2014, and she, yeah. She made an amazing uh, 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 group of, of objects in several different uh, 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 modes. For example, uh, we have a bunch of pirate stuff up here. Ada is flying in a, a Mer vehicle. She made uh, a whole space uh, set of spaceships and space stations and things. And uh, everything that she made was uh, often amusing and, and amazing to look at. And everything that she made was free. So it was a huge body of, of things for people to decorate their land with. But to me, the most amazing thing is that everything that she, she made was open source. And she invited everyone to take it apart and I hear that she was uh, a, an educator in Second Life, helping people learn how to texture map. And I uh, am sad that I never got to meet her because I would love to, to thank her for all the things that I learned from her. And uh, she did have uh, several discussions with people like Ada uh, and invited them to, uh, to bring her stuff out to OpenSim. But as far as we know, she never made it to open sim. I hear stories occasionally of people saying they met her. There was but, someone pretending to be her in in open sim, and I talked to that person. Clearly not her. <laughs> she was polite and a nice person, and uh, Arcadia was not. So out here in open sim, a lot of people have uh, have taken her items and ported them out here. And uh, you can find them all over the place. Uh, you may even recognize some of these items here. And uh, there are several different groups have set up uh, uh, libraries of her material for you to uh, to get copies of. Um, the, the most recent one that I'm aware of is the one in Kitely at the region Cookie 2. And that one apparently had some uh, problems recently and Ada was, was having to clean it up. And she uh, complained that there wasn't a good place uh, to, to have a home for, <laughs> for Arcadia's stuff. And it occurred to me that I was spinning up little grids and I said, oh, I have a spare server. I'll, I'll just set one up now. And it kind of ran away from us. Uh, it's been a tremendous amount of, of very rewarding work. Oh, somebody found the cannon. <laughs> <laughs> Here, look, if you click on my crossbow, it goes like this. <laughs> so um, 
New Media Arts uh, found out about the, the project, and they have uh, uh, they're they're going to uh, to fund it so that even uh, if uh, Ada and I check out of real life the way Arcadia already has, that this body of work will not just disappear. Because I think in the uh, in the normal course of events, when when somebody stops showing up in Second Life, their 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 material will will show up in fewer and fewer inventories over time and it'll be lost forever and so we're going to preserve it in uh, in a in a little grid that uh, that will that will survive all of us i hope so that other people will be able to learn all those wonderful lessons about 3d modeling that that i learned and the biggest advantage uh, of this of this grid uh, in my uh, opinion is that we can create a user with her name in OpenSim, and then when uh, when we when we put items up to 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 let people grab them and and take them out everywhere else in our OpenSim metaverse, it's going to there those items will have her name on them, because when people when people have brought her items out of Second Life, of course the creator name ends up being the person who originally created these items in their own grids, and now we can. We can put her name on them and give her proper credit. And uh, so that grid is is up. You could jump into it right now if you wanted to. Uh, at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, we're going to do a guided tour of one or two of the regions where Ada is trying to set up uh, the uh, a couple of the the grids uh, that the way she had them set up, for example, there's going to be a pirate town and a mermaid town, and there's the the famous uh, 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 slum city, and and then the uh, the uh, the space re uh, region. And at any rate, with a small grid, we have lots of room to create a region just for uh, one of one of her original uh, installations. So there's going to be a tour tomorrow morning, but you can go there anytime you want. We have a uh, a booth at the presentation uh, Expo Three that has a blam gate that will take you to uh, to the Arcadia Asylum uh, grid, and we um, we have one some of her her items set up there uh, in uh, from the underwater world. There's a uh, uh, what is it called the it's an underwater circus tent. Actually, the yes. tent is full of water. Yeah, yeah. There, there's uh, one of Ailey's uh, projects was uh, a mermaid um, steampunk sea view uh, boardwalk park kind of Victorian um, arcade, a Victorian arcade of stuff. And there's a circus tent with uh, aquatic animals in it and bleachers to sit on and stuff like that. And so I, sh I, I had to convert it to mesh to fix the LOD issues. Thank you. <laughs> and I had to, I, and 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 uh, there are a lot of conversion issues to to bring her stuff into a world now that has different lighting, different scripting requirements, and different uh, LOD requirements. Everything has changed in the server and viewer software since she made this stuff. And we have, I, I, I was fortunately around when 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 she was in there, so I remember what it looked like. And uh, so we are trying to restore it to its original condition as it can be seen now, which is something that will probably have to be done a few more times. Yeah, so uh, when you uh, build a grid, there's also a web page. So we're setting up a wiki there and eventually a, um, a GitHub, I suppose. And we hope to have uh, a download page where you can download items uh, in 3D model form or uh, download texture packs. And as a matter of fact, textures are interesting because our Arcadia did uh, borrow textures from a lot of different locations. And so one of the projects that that we'd like to see is is to find out where did all which of these textures she actually made and which uh, she got from other people. Some of the some of the sculpts uh, in this crab, we are pretty sure were made uh, not by her, but were used uh, with permission. And so uh, it'd, be, it'd be really nice to track those people down, see if they're still around and say, do you still give your permission? And, uh, and make sure that, that everything that we're giving away on this, uh, on this grid is in fact um, uh, open source like uh, Ali intended them to be.
Yes, and she didn't intend to cut people out of provenance. She was, she didn't even change the uh, creator name if it was in the root prim, so that it would look like it was made by someone else. And then I, as I investigated, I'd find out, well, yeah, this sculpt map may have come from Cell Edmund, but she used it in an entirely different way than he ever intended. And <laughs> we know he gave her full permission because he said so. And and so it's it's complicated. As with any art restoration project, it's complicated. And, and uh, now, if you go uh, to the web page, there is a a uh, uh, a bunch of links, and one of the links is to a a spreadsheet, which you can. I'm going to paste that into. Uh, oh yeah, the spreadsheet. Yeah, so <laughs> I've been so working on that for a long time. <laughs> yeah, Ada has a huge spreadsheet where she's trying to track down uh, where everything was uh, was used, what what name. Uh, Arcadia used when she was the creator of it, and if uh, and and then what other pieces uh, were contributed by other people. So, so uh, there's there's a bunch of projects. If and there there seem to be so many people uh, out there that have worked on bringing her her wonderful stuff out here. That uh, if you want to come and help uh, with this project, we have a lot of things that could be done. Uh, there are people right now working on uh, on cleaning up the scripts for the sailboats so that the uh, the boats work in um, in uh, th this new grid. And I've been uh, working on some of the weapons like the cannons. And if uh, somebody, well, here I'm. Um, you really got to get on the steam crab and show them how it works. We work. Yeah, gonna well, we're going to have soon. to do that. However, uh, whoever was playing with the cannon, you didn't spend enough time because uh, <laughs> these. Uh, uh, the The goal is eventually to make everything in Pirate Town uh, explodable, so one. that. Yeah, there you go. He's holding a, a, a blunderbuss that we just brought in, and and he rescripted. Yeah, another another project is that uh, many of her items. Well, she she was a genius at making sculpt maps, and and so many of them have very poor uh, uh, LOD, and so we've converted uh, several uh, several different people like me and Ada have converted several of her her sculpt map items in into uh, a mesh that's more efficient and has a. Uh, a we can control the LOD. We can control in. the LOD. <laughs> yeah. uh, for L for those who don't know, Le LOD stands oh. for level level of level of detail, and it has to do with how a, a if you look at the front, the teeth of my my flying crack in here, you'll see that as you move your camera away, the image degrades, and uh, if I, when I convert that to mesh, I can keep that from happening. For the things that will be seen outside. For inside, indoor stuff, it's not so critical. What is the project? This is the the project to preserve the works of Arcadia it's Asylum. Ar Arcadia. Oh, because Asylum. it had so many A's in it already. I called it the the are uh, the uh, archive a like a asset archive as well. So that so is the a, 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 a. <laughs> Anyway, and but even though most of the stuff was actually made by Ailey, which is one one of her many alts. The stuff that all the stuff that's on stage here was built by the Ailey alt. Well, except for a little bit of Laura Lemon on my on my crack in here. I am wearing. I am wearing the Mer battle gear. I'll show you. Actually, I'm supposed to be a fish while I'm wearing this or a mermaid. There are a series of sculpt maps and quite efficient texturing, although the sculpt map isn't. And she. Uh, she she just did this, but it was meant for a mermaid, and I haven't found in world I haven't found the mermaid yet to uh, uh, to bring that in. I'm not sure it exists there anymore. I've seen a photograph of it, so I know what it looks like, but I haven't found the object itself. And the steam crab is a fearsome and ferocious weapon. <laughs> this is one of our favorites. Capable so of that's wreaking destruction on a pirate town. Or no, this this one actually is supposed to blow up the navy ships. Yeah, we uh, we do have a list on the web page. Uh, there there's a couple pages of things like a list of volunteers, a list of the known names uh, that that she had uh, in uh, Second Life, and if you know of any other names, you should um, you should let us know. 
I keep finding yeah. new ones. It's amazing. I'll find another one and then. So uh, she um, <laughs> she also made a lot of uh, of different clothing. So I'm wearing a a beard that she designed, and uh, and uh, uh, as Ada said, uh, she's wearing a uh, a mer outfit. So, uh, are there any questions? <laughs> she no, we're, we're to ask questions later. Well, well, we're not talking about SL here. We're talking about someone who was a prolific creator in SL, and we have, uh, and many people have brought her works out, and we're trying to make a definitive collection. Okay. Yes. Someone had asked. Let me repeat it for the camera. Um, will everything be available to pick up for free from your collection? And what's yeah. your site? Well, the site is, uh, I had a, uh, um, uh, here's the, a page with some links. I also pasted uh, those links in uh, text earlier. It's ArcadiaAsylum.org uh, with the port uh, colon 8002 if you wanted to hypergrid there. And the goal is for everything that's there, you will be able to grab it, put it in your suitcase and uh, take it home with you and use it any way you want, as long as you obey her restriction, which is you can never sell it for even one Linden. <coughs> um, we've been tempted to, to bring in other steampunky looking things that we find that, that kind of look like Arcadia, but the goal of this grid is to just be a place for, for her stuff. This is an art conservation project. We're trying to establish, and we're getting pretty good at it, trying to establish which stuff is hers and which stuff is not. And we're getting really good at that because we can see the pattern. We can, we, I can look at a texture now and say, she definitely made this. <laughs> or another one and say she definitely made this but she based it on this other one or uh she didn't make this but she had permission to and uh we have come across a collection of her source images that she kept in a huge uh compilation of one of those gizmos in second life where you could store images and she didn't actually use any of those images in the works but she I, now that i've gone through them i can see that she borrowed them took them into a graphics program and changed them and then brought them in and used them in her stuff. Almost nothing was, none, almost none of the textures were used uh, as is. A few of them. But any. For example, you can see that the poles supporting the Napoleon blown apart shop there came from the Atoll um, collection of images by uh, Linden Lab. That should be familiar to a lot of people from Second Life. Um, and she used that one a lot in the uh, pirate stuff. Are we out of time? Almost, not uh, quite. We got I, two more minutes. <laughs> yeah, I thought I saw some other questions up there. Uh, no, I don't see any well, questions that I don't recognize. You saw that M had asked if you're going to expand the project beyond her collection to include other open source content. Um, there is no plan for that. <clears throat> yeah, a couple of people have asked me in Second Life about that. Brian Lander has some collections. And this is going to take about two years, this, this project. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure that's completely accurate. <laughs> um, and... Uh, it might, it might be less. We're getting faster. You just built some, did some programming that will speed stuff up, so. Uh, there is, there are people like us uh, still who are still in, but who are still in Second Life, who also loved uh, Arcadia and her works. And so there is a store in the uh, Second Life marketplace called uh, the Alley Store. Yeah. And it has uh, uh, many of her items as well. So uh, that's totally unrelated to uh, to us out here. That's a, a Second Life effort. 
And of course, everything in that store is also free. There are quite a few things in people's inventories that uh, Ailey or Arcady gave them personally. I had a spaceship and I'm, I, I, I think she eventually did publish it separately. But at the time I was asking her for permission to use Slum City as a uh, theater set and when she heard one of our actors' voices, she thought that was a good idea, so she handed me a spaceship. Uh, a friend of mine in Second Life got given a uh, space hover scooter for Tiny's, for example, and nobody else has a copy of that. So there are still things coming out of people's inventories. Oh yeah, she gave this to me just for me, and, and <clears throat> I think I have everything that was published, but I don't think I have everything. Well, thank you for such a great presentation, Ada <laughs> and Kayaker. Did you have a last thought to add? Uh, just please uh, come to our event uh, tomorrow morning and we'll uh, we'll talk some more there about uh, about what we've been doing on the, on the new grid. And what time yeah. is that tomorrow, Kayaker? That's that's at 10 o'clock and you can meet us at the uh, present presenter booth number five where we have a blam gate, but uh, everybody should have the, the link. Now you could just hypergrid in there anytime after between 10 and 11 and f track us down. Yeah, we don't actually have a lot to show you. I've got everything out there. <laughs> Existence OpenSim is out there strewn around. I have uh, templates and layouts for most of the stuff. I know where most of the stuff is gonna go, but for now it was, we were doing pretty well just to get everything that we know about out there and now we're continuing to sort it out and bring stuff in. One big problem is uh, corrupt textures uh, that came through in an old OAR or uh, there's a, a, a object called box of everything and some of the stuff in that was corrupted and and kayakers uh, in the database on the grid saying, Ada, this is corrupted and I'm going, uh-oh, uh-oh, and then I go over to Second Life and get another copy and fix it, but that's gonna take a while. Yeah, well, ask me. Ask me at on the tour ab about techno uh, nerdy stuff like uh, hacking the database and searching for corrupted textures and changing the UUID of a texture so that it works the same as it did in Second Life. Well, thank you for that. And as a reminder to our audience, you will want to check out the conference.opencenter.org for a listing of the event tomorrow and other items on the conference schedule. You won't want to miss the next session that begins at 3.30 p.m. after the break in this keynote region, and it's entitled, Help, I'm Lost in the Metaverse. And also, we encourage you to visit the OSCC 23 Poster Expo and come to booth number five for samples of their work and, uh, and additional content from our speakers. Also, look throughout all of the OSCC Expo regions to see the sponsor and crowdfunder booths. Thank you again, Kayaker and Ada and the audience. Thank you, Lear. All right, I can't clean up my own mess because Franz has taken ownership of them all. Oh, oh, is that why I can't do it? Okay. <laughs> so uh, it's up to him <laughs> to clean up the mess now. <laughs> Right. That was a mistake. We were willing to clean up our own stuff. <laughs> I'll watch this.